At COP26, over 100 world leaders promised to end and reverse deforestation by 2030 in the hope that this would stop the conversion of forest biomass into carbon dioxide when the forests are destroyed. And now a UK-built satellite is set to create a 3D map of our planet's forests to measure how much carbon they hold. And the satellite will also assess the impact of deforestation. Biomass is the first satellite that will study the world's forests in three dimensions. The mission will essentially take a scan of the forests, which are the lungs of our planet, the satellite will be probing through the forest areas and build an image of our planet's biomass. If you look to the, at the forest with this wavelength, the, it, the leaves would, and the little branches would be totally invisible. The tree would look like a, a tree that's just had all the leaves stripped off and most of the small twigs left off and it would just look like a, the framework of a tree. And that's where the biomass is. Europe's biomass satellite will soon leave the UK for pre-launch tests elsewhere. The satellite's uh, collapsible antenna is crucial to its mission to look into the depths of the forest in a completely new way. It really will be quite um, quite a sight, I think, to behold. You can't really simulate what it's going to be like in space fully on the ground, so it's all essentially modelling at this stage. Yeah. Um, so it'll be quite exciting to see that happen. Forests are fundamental to fighting global warming because through photosynthesis, they turn about a third of the carbon that we pump into the atmosphere into biomass. However, the amount of carbon that they contain is not known, particularly in the dense tropical forests. And scientists say that it is crucial to know how much carbon there is in the forest areas as we cut or burn them down. It is hoped that in addition to measuring the carbon stores that we are losing, the biomass satellite may also reveal the most carbon-rich forests that we should protect. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.